Hey YouTube family, it's Raven, back to provide you with another right on time word from the Lord. Okay, so now with all rhema words, prophetic words, make sure you take them back to Jesus Christ. Go spend that one-on-one -on -one time with Jesus Christ and make sure that this word is only acting as confirmation into your situation. Okay, so this is a kingdom spouse, kingdom marriage word. So get pumped up. Yeah. <laughs> It's a good one, guys. It's a real good one. I'm pumping, pump for it. All right, all right. Okay, so Kingdom Spouse Heaven is a place on Earth. All right. So how did I get this word? Okay. Well, like many of you, I am constantly seeing the word Heaven. Heaven's everywhere. Okay. So I'll get like a ton of songs about Heaven. I'm getting just Heaven, Heaven, Heaven. What? Ah! Am I in Heaven? <laughs> okay. So then I'm getting chased down by a song. All right, and the song is, Oh, baby, do you know what that's like? Oh, heaven is a place on earth. Yeah, so it's uh, Belinda Carlisle, Heaven is a Place on Earth. Who else is hearing that song? Who else is being chased down by that song? Let me know in my comment section. I'm not the only one getting chased down, all right? Okay, so I don't know if you guys picked up on this. It's a big thing, but God is making special playlists for this kingdom marriage movement. You know, it's like a big story, like a big movie. And so it has its own playlist. Isn't that so sweet? Are you guys making, are you guys saving these songs in a playlist? The songs that are chasing you down? You need to be making your own playlist, okay? The Lord, he created music, all right? He can use whatever songs he wants, all right? Um, and this is like, I think, one of the big ones, you know, like in a movie, like a, the soundtrack, they always have like the one big song. This is definitely one of them, okay? <laughs> this is definitely one of them. So everybody needs to put this in their playlist if they don't have it already. Okay, so God is making a playlist for this movement, all right? All right, so I'm only gonna read one line out of the song but if you guys want to go check it out because the whole thing's actually pretty good it is clean now i can't recommend secular music right but if you're led to go listen to this whole song go for sure check it out because there were some like words that i thought were probably repetitive words for quite a, quite a few of you I got waves i was just talking to somebody last night emailing they were talking about waves lord speaking to them through waves shining stars we got the word home okay we're all seeing the word home because our our prodigals our babies are coming home amen all right, all right, so the lyric I'm gonna read is, ooh, heaven is a place on earth. Okay, they say in heaven, love comes first. Ooh, we'll make heaven a place on earth. Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. I redeemed myself, okay? Started off a little weak, but killed it. Okay, so what does that mean? What what is the point of these kingdom marriages coming together, guys? Have you anybody got any big downloads about that? <laughs> these kingdom marriages are to show the world God's agape love through them. His unconditional, sacrificial love through these kingdom unions. Like people are gonna look at them and go, There's so much love there, <laughs> and they're gonna just be awestruck. And that's what God wants. And this isn't the love that the world that the world chases after. This is this is the real deal. This is the real love, okay? That's why God has put a supernatural love in your heart for your person. That's why you can't run away from it. They can't run away from it, okay? Because it's put in there from God, okay? God literally, um, you love this person and he's giving you an extra measure of love to love them even better. Like God of the universe is helping you to love your person so that he can get the glory from these unions. And the only thing he's asking is just listen to me, just be obedient, follow the instructions, okay? You guys haven't picked up on this too. He's given a lot of very specific detailed instructions because Father God is setting us up for success, all right? He's setting us up for success. Let's let's not screw this up let's listen to the instructions okay all right so that's what's going on the love the heavenly love okay the love of jesus christ is coming down on this earth it's coming down on this earth okay people are going to get a glimpse of heaven through your kingdom union through your is it just let's just take a minute and savor on that because that is 
epic. That is huge. It's a big deal. It's a big deal, okay? It's a big deal. So I said agape love. This isn't no this isn't no worldly love. This is this you guys this is bigger than Nicholas Sparks, okay? I know, I know he's got some good ones. This is bigger, all right? This is the agape love. So what is agape love? All right, the highest form of love. All right, so unconditional, selfless, and sacrificial love. It's the love God shows towards us. Yeah, all right. All right, so then it says agape love is always giving and devotes total commitment to and is and it wants the highest and best for another okay like that is real genuine love so god's doing the move all right he's doing a move he's bringing these unions together he's putting his own agape love in these people's hearts to know how to love each other in a way that is going to make the world go what <laughs> the heavens are coming down the heavens are coming down i'm gonna have another word after this okay two words today they're both about heaven heaven is is coming down okay and a lot of it's coming into our hearts <laughs> so that we can show other people what heaven looks like what heavenly love looks like right jesus is saying he's like get back to the basics what are you Christians doing down there? Get back to the basics. Start loving each other like I called you to love each other. A pure love, okay? And that's what he's using these marriages for. And he said he said he's he's polishing and preparing and pressing to put these these marriages on full display. So that's why you've been going through so much. You had to. You had to be pressed and polished. He's shining. You know, the you got a lot of you guys again, the shining stars, which is in this song, okay? Because God, you had to be pressed and, and polished up to shine bright. Okay, that's why you, a lot of you are getting elevated because you think he's going to put this much work into something, into you and your marriage and not put it up on a platform. He's getting the glory for this. Amen? All right, yeah, and he's, you guys always say like, God's bringing marriage back. Yeah, <laughs> okay, so he's bringing marriage back and he's bringing pure romance and passion back in marriages okay okay so like god yeah he's, he's always having me say tell them i'm not boring guys god's not boring jesus christ is not boring he's offended that some of his children make him appear that way like that you guys that's like ugh, it's like the worst thing ever to be called you know like you can be called ugly you can be called you know, this, all these different names, but to be called boring, that's on a whole nother level. Father God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, they are not boring, okay? That's what God's trying to say. He's saying, I'm bringing excitement back on the earth. I want my people to be dancing, be joyful, okay? I want marriages to be full of real, genuine love, pure, um, like agape love, romance, and like pure passion, okay? like passion like god is a passionate god and the the highest illustration of his love is through a marriage covenant and he is like putting these supernatural love supernatural passion into the hearts of these unions coming together for his glory so whenever you get all up in your feelings and you're like why did i get picked for this <laughs> where's my cupcake at you know what i mean the cupcake, your sweetheart, where are they? Why don't they love me? Just remember that it's a lot bigger than you. It's a lot bigger than you, okay? You got selected. Don't screw it up. All right, let's keep on keeping on. Sorry the lighting's not good today. You wanna know why the lighting's not good today, guys? Because I've been trying to make these videos for hours. <laughs> keep My phone keeps turning off. In the name of Jesus, please stay on, please stay on. Okay, so yes, you have been hurt by your person you've been rejected by your person you've been maybe so a lot of you've been cheated on by your person you were given a kingdom spouse marriage promise and then your person took off and they've done a lot of things that have hurt you okay but the lord is saying you know why is this is it's agape love agape love okay so god loves us when we <clears throat> He gave me his revelations, guys, throughout like the last like six or seven months. And every time he gave me one of these, I cried because I said, oh, we, God wants us to feel how it feels to be hurt like he does. And he's just giving us a measure of it, you know, so God loves us with this agape love. So how do you think he feels when we ghost him? 
when we leave him on red. I ain't got time to pray. I ain't time to get back to you. You give me everything. Because some of you are thinking like, I've given my kingdom spells everything. I've given them the best of me. And they just leave me on red. You do that to God. You do that to God. And how do you think it makes him feel? It breaks his heart. Okay, your person has rejected you. We've all experienced the rejection. We still are, okay? And how does it make us feel? We have this supernatural love in our heart for these people and then they reject us. How does that make us feel? It hurts on a whole nother level. How do you think it makes God feel? You guys, it hurts him, it breaks his heart. How do you think it makes him feel when he's given us his best? He is giving us his absolute best and we run off and we chase after sin or the things of the world. We cheat on him. He's devastated. He's devastated. He hates it, okay? This is how he feels. And he's allowed you to feel that, to know how he feels. Because he has, he is training you to be able to show agape love. And you cannot show that agape love if you have not been hurt, okay? That's what it is. It's like unconditional sacrificial love for somebody. Even when they wrong you to be able to forgive them because God always forgives us. So you guys, it's so important to remember that these kingdom spouse marriages point back to Jesus Christ. They're for his glory. They're so much bigger than you. Yes, we get to enjoy them. Yes, you know, it's, it's awesome to be on this journey and to all the revelation we're getting and everything. And it's really challenging and it's building our character and it's preparing us for the big things that are getting ready to come down. You know, like the big moves that are coming that I'm still getting downloads about. But this is a big deal. This is a big deal. And, um, yeah, it's a big deal. Okay, so I put huge honor, huge responsibility. That's what I mean. It's bigger than you. So try to, try to stay out of your feelings. And be very, very cautious who you are following and listening to on this kingdom spirit. Blah, blah, blah on this kingdom spouse kingdom marriage journey you guys you guys it is a movement this is a real movement from the lord okay i would not be on here if this wasn't real i fought the lord for a long time saying i ain't getting up on there they gonna call me a false prophet lord he said yes you are <laughs> my people need to hear the truth all right there are a lot of people on up on youtube who are not speaking the truth on these kingdom marriage unions guys you need to be in prayer about that like like locked down in prayer like lord i do not want to be deceived because people are taking advantage of this movement and they're just making it all they're this pretty much twin flaming it with kingdom spouse attached to it okay it's pretty much new age but they're trying to take on the label kingdom spouse to lure christians into they're dabbling in witchcraft and divination and they're making it um self-centered okay kingdom marriage twin flames are self-centered okay kingdom marriage kingdom spouses are self selfless they're self-sacrificing okay that's what they are they're, there's a huge huge difference and it's important to know that when you're listening to these videos if you're listening to these videos from other people and they're just making your head big and oh this person's so obsessed with you they love you so much like they probably do just like you feel like you're somewhat obsessed with your person like borderline stalker like, are they going to put a restraining order on me or what? Like, I can't fight this feeling anymore. What's going on? <laughs> Just kidding. But you guys know what I mean. Like, yeah, you you do have this insane amount of love for them. But um, it's not that worldly, obsessive love. This is not limerence or what are some of my infatuation. That's not what this is. But that is what that is in the twin flame and those other kind of movements. So be guarded out there stay locked up okay if, if you're rolling up including my videos if you're rolling up on a video and you're feeling some type of way about it click off do not recommend if jesus needs to speak to you he will send another prophet in okay i've done that i've been like i'm not sure about them do not recommend they're gone and you know what he does he'll send somebody else in your father will provide for you what you need to hear on this journey okay but you need to be guarded you need to be guarded all right, so this is going to be in direct connection to a word I released, say yes to heaven. Some of your people have not said yes to heaven yet. So they have not went to Jesus Christ and received his love in full. So that's why they're not coming back to you and receiving you, right? Because they have to say yes to Jesus before they can say yes to you. So they have to say yes to heaven before they can say yes to you. So in the song, Say Yes to Heaven, if you guys remember, uh, I'll go ahead and link it in this description box, but it was talking about the red dress. Be like, what is, how does it go? And her... And her beautiful voice, Lana. 
So if you dance, I'll dance. I'll put my red dress on, get it on. Okay. After I talked about the red dress, because remember I was talking about how red, oftentimes, especially red dress, red lipstick for women, often is like seductive. But the Lord is like taking that back and he says, nah, like red is going to symbolize sacrificial love, healing. And then after I did that video, I kid you not, my YouTube started blowing up with lady in red and like all these videos, women in red. I'm just seeing women in red. And like people are blowing up my comment section with like red dresses and a few of you were talking about late somebody was talking about how they went out and bought a red dress i mean i'm like flooded flooded okay so um the lord is saying too he added passion okay so like red is rep the lady in red the red lipstick uh is representing passion like these marriages are you know drenched in red the lady you want to go get a red dress for your man go do it Got me some red lipstick. It's prophetic up on this channel. I ain't got none on right now, but all right. But it represents sacrificial love that you have for your person. That's why your red dress is uh, representing healing. Okay, and I actually spoke to somebody. So a few of you have been emailing me, and I'm doing my best to get back with those emails, guys. I didn't really think I was going to get as many as I did, but I'm reading them. I'm trying to get back as quickly as possible, okay? But I'm getting a lot of really great... Uh, testimonies and just different things from you guys and somebody was talking about how when they were in contact with their kingdom spouse because we know our kingdom spouse journeys are healing deliverance journeys okay and a lot of it is spiritual emotional I visited with somebody and they were talking about how when they're in contact with their kingdom spouse their body was physically healing okay their body was physically healing like this is big this is huge these marriages are they're heaven sent okay all right, but there's a God's bringing back the passion. There needs to be a lot of passion, like pure, godly passion in these marriages, okay? That passion is going to come from the heart of Jesus Christ. I said, some of you need to go get some red dresses, but stay modest. <laughs> I mean, if it's just you and your man, you know, do whatever you want after you sign them papers. After you sign them papers. Purity, guys. Purity is a big thing. I keep getting the first kiss, the kisses, remember? When Raven starts seeing the smooches, the Lord is saying, the first kiss is coming. Tell my people to have a plan, a purity plan. Because these marriages have to be set apart. Your father is giving you lots of instructions. He's preparing you for when you come into union. You need to take this seriously. You need to take this seriously and have a plan to stay pure until you sign those papers. Because yes, you are married in the spirit. But the mystery is, Father God, he, he makes the plans. And he said, you're married in the spirit, but you ain't doing none of that until you after the ceremony okay really important really important okay what was my other line oh there's a there's a song in the line okay and it's uh i didn't write it down but i know it it goes i was afraid but i ain't afraid anymore or something there's a line in this song where it talks about them being afraid but they're not afraid anymore Oh, yeah, baby, I was afraid before, but I'm not afraid anymore. All right, so here's your hope. Your person is on the run. They're not, oh, they're acting some type of way, right? Because they're afraid. They're running from the Lord. They're going to run from you. Okay, but they are going to have an aha moment. How many of you guys are seeing, hearing, um, take on me? That's on our soundtrack too, guys. That's on our guys made us a soundtrack that's on it it's a big one on it all right i hear it all the time all the time usually after i get done doing a word i'll drive away and it's like that song it was resurrected for such a time as this amen anyways i was doing the dishes last night and i got this light bulb it'll click on and off and i swear it's like the lord talking to me because every time i'll like have an epiphany it like will click on it's just always on but then it'll click off sometimes and it just clicks on and off and so it's off i'm doing the dishes and then aha comes the song comes on recommended songs like take on me and then the light bulb goes <laughs> and the last word that i the word that i released on this song was a light bulb so the lord is saying have you know be in a place of hope your person is going to be having the aha moment like they're going to be waking up the atoms are waking up everything's going to be happening it's going to be happening pretty quickly guys so stay stay focused okay stay focused all right
they're going to be returning. I said, they're going to be returning. You better be ready to wash their feet. Right, Ray for Christ? She had like a whole video about washing their feet. Like, you there coming back? They've been running. Them feet are dirty. They need to be cleaned up. Be prepared to wash their feet. Okay. All right. So let's get into some... Let's get into some numbers here, okay? I thought, was, I thought there was anything else that I wanted to rattle off there for a second. I don't think so. Okay. All right. So last time I heard this song on the radio, so it was 8 a.m. It was like two, two or three days ago, 8 a.m., okay? And so in Strong's Concordance, 800 means fire, Okay, and then today somebody sent me a donation for $12 and it was very specific. They said, God wanted me to send you $12 and he, only he knows why. And so I said, okay, so I'm digging into it and the Lord led me to Acts 1, 2. Okay, and so it says, until the day when he ascended to heaven after he had, by the Holy Spirit, given instructions to the apostles, special messengers whom he had chosen. Okay, so let's put this together, right? So we have been chosen for this task, okay? God is giving us instructions, just like he gave his first people. He gave them instructions. Says, oh, the, whole, the Holy Spirit's coming down. He's going to help you guys out, right? You're, they were chosen people. The disciples were chosen people. How many disciples were there? They were 12. <laughs> okay, so 12 is like the number of Right, order like per, per, I've heard it's perfection too because I've had somebody say I've seen 12 12 what does that mean I believe it's perfection like it's like a considered a perfect number throw down in my comment box what you guys are getting from the number 12 if some of you are getting 12 what the Lord is revealing to you through 12 because we're going to be getting a few different things okay what the Lord is saying okay you were chosen for this task. You were chosen to have heaven put in your heart to glorify the Lord in these kingdom marriages, these end time marriages, these marriages that have been prophesied for like, I think at least 30 years, if not longer than that. Like this is a big deal. You got selected for it. So yeah, like I said, it's a big responsibility. Take it seriously. All right. And so he's given us instructions through this. The Holy Spirit's been giving us instructions through this big move. Okay. And the Holy Spirit fire okay so 800 we're going back to that means fire like the fire is coming down from heaven this isn't the wrath yet like that's later on we're not there yet this is like holy spirit fire that he's putting in us that burning passion to love our person well right and then we're gonna go out there we're gonna love other people and get them into the kingdom of god that's what he's saying okay so then as i'm listening to this song the vehicle right in front of me so 817. All right. So it took note 817. So then I went and looked up the singer, the lead singer of this song. Is Belinda or something. All right. Anyway, she's a August 17 baby. So 817. So I got the number twice. Okay. So the Lord led me to Romans 817. So it says, and if we are his children, then we are his heirs also, heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ, sharing his spiritual blessing and inheritance. If we share in his suffering so that we may also share in his glory okay so what is the lord saying there like this journey if you were given a kingdom spouse marriage journey like you have had to endure you have experienced suffering now some people might look at that and say oh wow you had your heart broken or you know they're going to try to compare it to somebody else who's suffering somewhere else but you know regardless of what it looks on the outside internally in the spiritual warfare that you have been experiencing you have suffered you have suffered okay and you had to you had to go through that suffering you had to go through that excruciating feeling of what it feels like to be rejected by somebody that you love more than anybody you've ever loved in your entire life like that had to happen that's why all these journeys are pretty similar there's rejection there's the counterfeit and whether the counterfeit is a person, place, or thing. Because, so you guys know, not not just because you hear the word counterfeit, that doesn't necessarily mean that your person is um, with a person. Like, they're, they could be choosing something over you. And that it could be, like, a career. Like, they could be choosing a career over you. Like, a, a counterfeit is something that they're choosing over their own call. 
and over you. So whatever they're choosing something over God, they're going to choose it over you, okay? Like you're just... They reject Jesus, they're going to reject you. They're running away from Jesus, they're going to run away from you, okay? You guys are on the same team, so you get treated the same way. So just know, just know that too, guys. Just know like when you're getting rejected by them, so is Jesus. You're feeling how he feels. It's hurting him too that your person is running away from him. It's hurting him too that they're ghosting him. It's hurting him too that they're, what else did I write on there? That they're cheating on him. So if you're feeling that, just, ah, uh, did somebody just shoot me in the heart? What do you think he's feeling? What do you think he's feeling? Okay. Gosh, and he feels that all the time, guys. He, all the time. So yes, if you have been on this journey, you have suffered with Jesus Christ. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. And because of that, you're going to share in this spiritual blessing that is getting ready to fall on this earth, you guys. Because it, these marriages will be a huge blessing. Like, you will be rewarded for your or obedience. You will be rewarded for standing. Even when everybody's looking at you like you are crazy. And that's another reason why God said, be quiet. They ain't going to understand. Just Let's just eliminate some of that stress out of your life. <laughs> let's eliminate some of that right now. You've been called crazy. You've been called just oh look at they're still waiting around you know you're gonna be rewarded for your obedience and it's gonna look different i'm not saying everybody's gonna have money piled up like receive your blessing as the lord gives it okay but whatever he's gonna give to you is gonna be a blessing make sure you say thank you <laughs> okay all right but this is a big deal this is a big deal and i know that this is a big deal because the more that like the more downloads i'm getting about this the more i'm praying about this like my bones feel like they're on fire i'm like there is something really big like a lot bigger than i've been thinking is happening you know yeah this is a big deal this is a big deal okay and so then i got this word on may 8th I'm going to get my battle Bible out because I didn't look it up. So Romans 5, 8. I didn't get it. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't get it ready. I should have. I thought I had it written down. Where you at, Romans? I told you I needed to do that class where, like, they time me, you know? Like, how quickly can you get there, Raven? I'm almost there. I'm going to win the prize. Pass the class. There we go. 817. It's got to be on this page. Oh. 817. Five, eight. Oh, hold on. God's increasing your patience right now. Stand fast. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Okay, so Roman. You guys, it was Romans 5.8. I'm sorry. So I got this word... This song, the last time, was on May 8th, so 5-8, Romans 5-8, okay? And it is, but God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. So what kind of love is that? That's agape love. That is agape love. It all started on that cross. It all started on that cross. When he said, yeah, they're dirty, rotten kids down there. I'm still going to die on their behalf, all right? I love you guys. You still be doing the wrong thing. You still be ghosting me. Think about that, guys. Next time you want to ghost Jesus Christ, leave him on red. Next time you want to go out choosing sin over him, remember how it feels. Remember how it feels. Choose him. Choose him and know it breaks his heart, okay? Stop, break. Stop breaking the Father's heart. Stop breaking. That's what he's saying. Stop breaking my heart. I love you guys. And I'm asking you, love that, love that man, love that woman. Like, I love you. Bring glory to me. Draw people to me. He's an attractive God. He's an exciting God. He ain't boring. All right? He ain't boring. And these marriages, guys, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to tell you what. These marriages are not going to be boring. These marriages are not going to be boring. Okay? These marriages are going to be exciting and not in a worldly way. In a Jesus Christ way. Okay? They're going to be passionate. It'll be real good. So get excited about it. I think that's all I had. I got, oh, no. I got to, oh, I got to add this. All right. So I've been sick. Three, two, one. Every day, all day. Okay. So then I'm getting, um, come together. So come together. 
right now over me right because i'm telling you guys like that's on our soundtrack too that's a big one on the soundtrack i like the one from the justice league better than the beatles version but fight me in the comment section all right <laughs> but this one's a really good one come together okay so hearing that like every day i heard like two three times yesterday okay so today i'm driving over here to try to do my videos that did not work the first time but it's okay because i had some i had some other stuff i needed to get done <laughs> it worked out what the enemy tried to use for your for evil god redeemed for good it worked out i sent some had some other conversations that were really good okay but i'm driving over here and i hear the final countdown and i'm getting that on my youtube it's the final countdown okay so then as i'm hearing it here comes a u-haul <laughs> and i'm like what's well, gonna be on that u-haul i know it's gonna be something good i know it's gonna be something good and it's space on the u-haul guys and in the song final countdown it's like we're headed to venus or something like he's talking about going into outer space and that's like the big one of the big things the lord is using um for this movement is a nasa the launching the space that's why a lot of you are seeing nasa and launching like, do you think it's a coincidence that everybody's buying nasa shirts right now or oreo decided to put out a space cookie and every no no, God's working down here. He's like, I'm going to need, and it's all for his people, right? He's like, I'm going to need you, Oreo, and you over there. I'm going to need you guys to start doing all this because my children, it needs to be up in their face every single day so that they know that I'm doing a move and it's happening and it's happening now. Okay, so the U-Hauls obviously represent movement, spiritual movement. A lot of you are physically moving. Okay, the final countdown is on. These marriages are coming to pass, but even bigger than that, guys, heaven is coming down right now. I'm going to talk about that in my next video, celebration, and it is connected to this word. So if you're watching this word, if this word is for you, my other video is for you and I want you to go listen to it because there's a scripture in it that's so good but I cannot connect it to this word because it's not I mean it could be like indirectly connected but it's the numbers are linked to the the song and the other words so I want to keep it in there but it's really good but heaven is coming down and it's it's gonna be big it's gonna be good get excited like I said yesterday God said get my people dancing get excited. God's doing a big move. Okay. Heaven's coming down. Heaven's already, it's in your heart. Heaven's already in your heart. <laughs> All right. It's about ready to break loose on earth. Okay. The love, the heaven in your heart, the heaven in your heart, the heaven that's going to be in your marriage is going to bring more people into the kingdom of heaven. Okay. All right. Amen.